I like those boots. These boots were made for walking. Are you saying I should be wearing them? Oh, these well, boots there's... are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots walk all over you. I can't use that because it's a weird thing to it. Today's Zoom is brought to you today by uh, Columbia College uh, because with their tuition at uh, Columbia College, your education is one low price. That's right, there's no fees, no book costs, no surprises. We like to play games, but don't play games with getting your education. That's right, tuition lets you budget for the true cost of college by eliminating all the fees from the application to the graduation. They provide uh, e-textbooks at no charge, fees with e-textbooks. You can highlight important sections and add personal notes to the material. You can also convert e-text to audiobooks, which I love, mm -hmm. so you can listen to content on the go. That's right, and tuition is for all undergraduate and graduate students taking classes online or in the evening at any of their 30 plus locations. Get this, I honestly did not know this. Columbia College was founded in 1851. 1851. That is like more than like a decade ago. At least two. Uh, they've been accredited for over 100 years. Uh, it's eight week classes are held year round so you can earn a degree very quickly as opposed to giving away all of your time. That's right, their mission is to improve lives by making college affordable. That's the truth, that is tuition. So apply today at uh, mytruition.com uh, forward slash replay, you want to do that uh, so you know that you heard about them from us. <laughs> uh, mytruition.com forward slash replay. Thank you so much Columbia College for the soup. Back to doom. You like these? these? I do, I do. I, I, I do like those. I was in Paris. Mm, Paris. And uh, I, I was trying to find, um, you'd have been very proud of me. I, I, I knew exactly what I wanted. Boots to, for men? Yes, boots. For, I went to boots for men. <laughs> um, you said I, I'd be proud of you. And I, just, I, wanted, I knew exactly what I wanted to wear to this Death Stranding launch event and of course you did. Of course, that's the number one thing that I had solved, right? That's the big thing between Troy and I. I would have figured it out, like... The, that morning. That morning. Um, I, I was like, I know exactly what I want. I found, walking down, um, there's this kind of like a little block around Paris that I've, I've, I've got on lock, and uh, I'm, I'm walking down the street and walking toward the Tuileries Gardens, and I look over to the left, and I was like, that's it. That's exactly what I want. And I walk in, and I was like, I have been looking for exactly this. And I says, here you are. I was like, do you have this? He goes, we only have this. Like, it's, it's not like we have these in multiple sizes. Like, we have this. And it looks like, do you, someone it wore this Seems very limiting. Or? Very, but it's like runway, it's now hanging up in the store. Uh, it's a, a designer named Yoji Yamamoto. I was like, that's it, man. I'm going to get it. Nope. <laughs> nope. I don't think we have anything for you. You're obviously in the wrong place. In when you're buying clothes that don't have multiple sizes. <laughs> that's a clear indication. Yeah, it's, it's kind of the, uh, even like, I, I'm not a fashionista, but I can pretty much tell you, that's like buying a piece of art. Yeah, it was like, I mean, we have a price tag on it, but... It's really just for us it's to like, see. How do you say marshals in yeah. French? <laughs> uh, uh, you do you know where the, the Ross dress for less is? Have you been to Tijon uh, Max? <laughs> uh, yeah. I did not. I did not get it. Uh, but good for you. Uh, yeah, I, it, that shows it was, some restraint. It it was really really hard because it was it was exactly it was exactly what I wanted. I was like I now know of a new designer that I can't afford. And, um, <laughs> But it was, it was great. So I was walking around Paris and I, I went to this one store that I've been to before um, and I was like, uh, that. And, I, and I, I just literally got boop, 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 put the whole thing together. Um, and, uh, and it looked great. Um, let's take a look at Troy at the Death Stranding um, premiere. I did that. I like that with the hand. I had a scarf. No, no, tell us about the, no, no, stay with the outfit. Okay. I'm into this. Go ahead. Um, I'm the kind of guy that walks into a store and I was like, 
Can you just stay out of my way? <laughs> because I have been in stores with you. Store with you are me. absolutely like that. It's like, it's cute that you want to help. I've got this. I just, I need you to point me in the direction of where the clothes are and I will find I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. I know that so well about you now mm. that I like going and I will stay well away you. from you and I'll wait to watch someone come up because I know it's going to happen. Like you should put this like, Hi, can I help you today? You may not. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm going to help can you. Can I help you? <laughs> I'm going to give you a hug. Know your job. And go get a cup of tea. You, I bet you have caused store clerks to quit their job. I hope not. I've worked retail before, too. And I think everybody in this country should work retail or the service industry. Because I think we'd be a I much nicer people. That could be the same thing. Like, instead of going to the Army or military armed forces, thank you for your service, I think your thank you for your service should be like, you're going to bust tables. You're going to wait on people. You're going to refill drinks. You're going to take orders. From there should the be a Veterans Day for service industry. There's service industry day, but it's, it's for people in the service industry, and no one like walks up to you and go, thank you for your service. And that's what I wish that they would do. I took the trash out. I took the trash out for you uh, yeah. in memory of your service. I, if, we, if we did that, it just, you, if you executed just like a little bit more patience when you went to a restaurant, mm. we'd be a much, much, kinder, much kinder people. Was it Daniel Tosh says something about that where he says, maybe then you'll realize your ranch dressing isn't that fucking important. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> this was iced tea. You ready to order, sir? No, I'm still waiting. This was iced tea. You can always tell someone who worked, either either waited, if it was a waiter or a server, what do you want to call them, or worked retail. Because they can fold clothes amazingly well. I was, <laughs> you know, I always talk to Paul Smith at the, at Heathrow Airport because I get, I get travel or yep. something. I was... <laughs> I was standing there and I was looking at a sweater and I was like, no, this isn't the right size. And so I was folding it back up and this guy walked up to me and he goes, um, sorry, how, uh, how much is this? And I looked at him and I went, my guess is $11 billion. And he goes, um, <laughs> and he couldn't compute. And I said, but honestly, I don't know because I don't work here. <laughs> and he goes, oh, you don't. I was like, no. I yeah, but here. I'm going to tell you something. First of all, you dress when he travels, like you work at a Paul Smith. I have outfits. And <laughs> yes, I have outfits. you do. Um, I have, a, here's, a, here, I have an, here's an insecurity of mine. Mm. I sometimes will not touch something. Perfect. Like when I'm looking, like I feel terrible. Like something's folded and I take it out and I go, oh, that looks good. And then I go, uh, sometimes I will buy it because I feel so bad when I go, but do you fold it back to where it Somebody will take, I can't. Oh, man. You can't fold it back. I don't know that. I don't have that skill. And I've tried it. But I, I'll just, I kind of just do that little fold in and then just. Yeah. And you put it in. And But I, if I had a nickel for every time somebody comes up, I, I, I'll, I'll refold Please. that. It's, oh, man. I'm like, you know. But see, I worked in the shirt folding industry. I, I Wait, worked, stop. <laughs> that's what we called it. <laughs> There's. A, the, did you hear that, kids? I worked in the shirt folding industry. It was a you joke. You know, you too can get <laughs> go out and you get yourself an education. And, you and, and one you day up here. they work in the shirt folding. I, I what is to, the shirt folding industry? So we no, we joked about. It. Do you have a degree? I have a degree in shirt folding. We we made a joke about it because like I worked at a store called I don't think it's like, surely it's not around anymore called Structure. I remember. I remember Structure that like, yeah. created the layered look. My mom liked. Sh this is my mom liked uh, structure for me. She was like, yeah. like, I remember one Christmas. It was basically a structure Christmas. And it's structure Christmas. And okay. it was it, and it. It was the shirt with the rugby, with the sweater, with the jacket. And it was just like, and I lived in Texas. It's like it's eighty five degrees. I was like, but don't I look good? <laughs> I and the whole the whole thing was you get there and all you do because every once in a while like someone would accidentally walk into your store and you're like, oh no, American Eagle is next door. They're like, okay, thank you. And, but you would sit there and people would just walk over and just and just destroy your thing. And so your job became folding shirts. Just reorganizing everything. And, and yeah, and you would just do it obsessively. And so when someone did it wrong, you're like, that pile was perfect, you asshole. You should go in behind them and fold up everything. But there was like a little, it's almost like a, like a clipboard that they would give you and you put the shirt in there and you fold, fold, tuck the, the arms and then you put it up. I, I can fold the shirt like the son of a do you know what I gotta say? It's the stupidest I've conversation watched, there's a couple. There's a, yeah, why not? Why not? Why this not? is what we do. This is what we do. What is going to happen, everybody? 
Nolan to a Troy Baker <laughs> run the couch. That we're talking surprised shirts. me. Why oh. not? Ooh, it got me. <laughs> well, Holy that's true. I, normally I can see it coming. There's like a little gleam. No, in your I eye. just no. I'm just. Woo! I'm just jumping. <laughs> I didn't have my coffee. I wasn't taking a drink to do I'm my jump, little thing. I'm jumping full oh, boat into this goodness. episode. We're back. We're on the couch. Does We've it been... feel like it's been a while? It feels like it's been yeah. a while. There's been a lot of travel this year. There's been a lot of travel this year. You went, look at you, you you tanned Polynesian. Mm. Did you say that? Is Fiji Polynesia? F- Fiji's, I, actually Fiji's part Indonesia? of the Samoan Islands. I didn't know that. Did you see a lot of giant men there? Yes. Like Chris Rock. Giant, Not Chris Rock. The Rock. Chris is... His name is Chris. What is his name? Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> My God. Dwayne the, the Chris Rock, Rock Johnson. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh. no, uh, yeah, we we were supposed to have our 20th wedding anniversary in Didn't July, we, which we did. It was the anniversary, but the trip was postponed. Um, and uh, why, why did you postpone the trip? You uh, uh, Coop. Our son, he, oh, was, he wasn't feeling well, and we that's decided to. We had to. Uh, well, I wanted to go. And Sorry, Coop, like, love you, but I wanted. To, no, we 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 couldn't go. He wasn't he wasn't feeling well. So, uh, but it was cool because uh, both the airline and the resort, like had uh, had absolutely they had a, like didn't even charge extra to change the flights or to change the dates. They just we moved it. It was a one time. You could do only one do it one time. And the cool thing is we ended up moving it to here in November. And um, something I didn't know, it was... Uh, Hurricane season. <laughs> no, it's the beginning of, like, their summer. So it was actually wait, 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 a better wait. date. Are they on the... They're on the They're three southern... hours from Melbourne. Oh, so it's Southern Hemisphere. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Which I also found out on the last day when I decided... Uh, stars look I don't think I'm going to put on any sunscreen. Oh, no. Last day. Oh, no. Last day. Uh, next thing I know, the next, that night, actually not even the next day, so we le- left on a Friday. That Friday I said, eh, we only have a couple hours, no sunscreen, a uh, couple cocktails and a nap later. Were you flying that day? Mm-hmm. <gasps> I was in the airport lounge. Uh, we had to go to the family handicap uh uh, bathroom where I gently took my shirt off so my wife could put a special salve on my back in this it, it, because and then uh, basically ty- Panadol was what they sell Panadol S- like Tylenol and uh, it got me through the flight oh uh, could, you, had to, I, you had to sit there on my back <gasps> I'm gonna put a little of this aloe on your back okay should make you feel better Oof! Yeah, it was it was uh, oof, my goof. And and then endured the weekend with no shower. When I got home, no shower because it, basically, if you dro- water droplets on my back was like screaming. It was it was re- really painful. And now, as I sit here, I can tell you, uh, it's like a thousand little ants on my back. I'm so itchy. So if you see me doing things like oh, that, is it still? Oh god, it feels so good. It's so itchy. I I've done that once. It's about to peel. It's about to. I'm about to. I'm about to molt. Yeah. My whole back's gonna larva. Shuff. Uh, shuff is it? Sh- like a schluff. Snake. Isn't it schluff off or schluff off? Schluff off. I think it's S H L O U G A. Schloff. Schloffing. Schloff. Schloff. I, I did that once. I was in Cancun with my buddies, and the last day they were like, "We should rent jet skis." I'm like, "Yeah." no sunscreen and out in the water which is a reflective surface and I did great we were out there for like an hour or something not 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 long I was like okay guys bye bye mm-hmm. and I get on the plane and the flight attendant is like can I get you are you okay and I went I think so <laughs> like if you feel fine and somebody asks you that question it's very off-putting and she was like honey have you seen yourself and I went no and before we took off, she goes, go take a look. And I went into the lab and I looked and I was like, oh no. It was like a funhouse mirror. It was, I was just red and getting redder. And by the time the flight, yeah. I was like, oh God, it was just the absolute, it is, it is yeah. flying. No matter what can, if you're in a bad way, flying makes it worse. Yep. Well, you know, Drusifine J. Drusif. He was telling me the story about uh, his, I believe it was his, um, before his, before he got married, wasn't it? Before he got married, he went snorkeling, and just he put on some. 
Well, it's, a, you know, he inflates it. He inflates her every morning and night, says good morning and good night. But it, it, it counts. Whatever matters. Let him go with it. Go ahead. It's the only way he could snorkel. He just crawled on top of her. Anyway, and just... Um, but it... <laughs> what? Let that visual... <laughs> just let that visual... Let this visual... <laughs> she, Sir, she could be yours for nineteen ninety nine. I said a plus table in, for two. What do you mean plus postage and handling? <laughs> this is my wife. That's uh, a phone. Flying. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> where the hell was I? Anyway, snorkeling. he got he went snorkeling and he put on the the sunscreen. He said, but. And he just jumped in the water, and it just went. Shmip. It sloughed <laughs> off of. It sloughed off of him. It was just this he, greasy and then layer. It, and he, and he be, even if it stayed on, this is my favorite part of his story. He said, hey, "Then we went snorkeling for like three hours." I'm like, Goop. well, clearly you don't reapply <laughs> as you're snorkeling. <laughs> and he got apparently it was just brutal. So where painful. was the sun? Where does it hurt? Pretty much just here. <laughs> On the back of me, he's like, "Oh, look at the look at this great sea yeah. life." But it, but aside from that, it didn't matter. It was a great trip. So, <sighs> yeah. But I've been watching some of this. Uh, this is the granddaddy. Well, I mean, really, Wolfenstein is the I, I granddaddy like, of all. I, this feels like more like alien to me when you're running around. Remember the the little uh, octopus, yeah. octopi, octopuses. Doom is the octopus. It, it is the, it spawned uh, just a, an entire genre. Uh, Doom, to me, was the one where it's like, this is the first person shooter. I think we're playing, we're playing like an HD remaster, what is this? It's the original, but they ported it to PS4. What is the, which episode do I want? The Shores of Hell? Oh my God. Inferno, well, thy see. flesh consumed. I, I wasn't Jesus. allowed to, when this came out, when did this originally come out? No, 93? No. No, the original? No. Had to be before then. My God in heaven. Oh my God. I'm gonna jump straight into it with the In the year 2019. No way. That's this year. The player character is a space marine popularly known as Doom Guy. We know a guy that played Doom Guy has been punitively posted to Mars after assaulting a superior, I didn't know any of this, after assaulting a superior officer, maybe with that hairy fucking fist, Jesus, who ordered his unit to fire on civilians. I won't do it, you hear me? We're soldiers, we're men of honor. Look at that face down there. Uh, the Space Marines, because all you gotta do is add space in front of it. Oh, dude, we had space sex the other night? Because we're in space. We Hold on, sex. oh God, I don't know how to. You're already shooting, good for you. Oh, that's how I shoot. 93, man, I feel like this is like way earlier. The Space Marines act as security of the Union Aerospace Corporation's, hmm, UAC? Sure. Uh, the UAC, radioactive waste facilities, which are used by the military to perform secret experiments with teleportation. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. By creating gateways between the two moons of Mars, Phobos and Deimos. Did you know that was the name of Mars's moon? I didn't. Dude, oh, dude, can I Davis? jump over there? I don't know what I'm doing. Can I? Or I feel like if I go into that, you can because you, there's stuff there. They wouldn't do that to you. Jump. There you go. Picked up a box of shotgun shells. Uh, in 2022, Deimos disappears entirely, and quote something frag and evil starts pouring out of the teleporter gateways, killing or possessing all personnel. I did not know any of this. This is just. Pardon me. Riveting. That's your word, riveting. So just I like, like a, riveting. Yeah, you do. Uh, so check this out. So I step in there, and I'm, all of a sudden, uh, it's like a teleporter. Just read it. Yeah, you teleport. Shotgun. Yeah, I think you got all the maximum you can get. Um, my God in heaven, there's so many weapons. The shotgun, uh, as we've learned in uh, the favorite. Uncharted playthroughs, is uh, is a, is a very lethal weapon. That's a very lethal weapon. You say a very lethal weapon. Want me to drive? No, I'll drive. All right. You get in that side. You drive. Rigs. Rigs. Yeah, very dentry. Look at that upside down cross. He did get Satan. dentry. He did like very dentry. What was the day before the after world tomorrow? The the, the world before day the day. The day after tomorrow. Is tomorrow? that what it was? Which is the one where he played the president? 
because they couldn't get Morgan Freeman again? He's like, I've already paid the president. <laughs> kind of, right? It's like uh, I hadn't thought about that, but that's probably why. Yeah, Sam. We want to get Sam Jackson as the president. Sam Jackson's never played the president. But Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, but Samuel L. has he's done one thing that most people would kill to do. He's he's been a champion. Capital One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's good money. Jennifer Garner's doing that now. That's what weird. is this thing? Just, just something that hurts you. What does this thing do? It's a computer. It's a okay. computer. I'm, I'm a little confused. I've gone to. Oh wait, what is that over there? It's a box. What's in the box? Hey, so, what's, what's in, in the, the box? box? What's in the box? Uh, what the box? Oh no, it's a map. Is there anything I can? Anybody have any idea? Red means stop. Or as Traveler calls right now, pa, pa, go, pa. Stop and go. You understand? Stop and go. Wherever we get to the corner, like to the curb, before we get in the street, he goes, pa, pa. Sheer genius. You know, Baby genius. My son does the same thing. At 19. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm teleporting back and forth. Do you, do you have any idea what I should do? Shoot things. Where are you? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Okay, so go jump over there. Bloop, bloop. There you go. And that's so I'll go here again. But nothing else around you. Oh. No, that's it. Now I'm now I'm here, and it's just this. So go over to the skulls. Touch it. Mm, put your fingers in it. There you go. Ta da! Ta da! Look behind you. Wee! Oh, there's guys coming. Hi, dude. Oh, hold on. I don't, oh shit. Hi, Martian. Hey, how do I? Uh, punch I gotta, that motherfucker. Come here. Where? How do I get my gun back? Dang it. Oh man, my health went way down. Is that a way med down. kit? Way down. Look at you. Yeah, oh, there you go. There's a health kit, med kit. There's a med kit on your mini. Oh, there's that. Those guys are shooting you. The Chewbacca dudes. Yeah. Blick, blick. Look at that. You're doing well. You're doing very well. Pick well, up a medi kit. You know why I'm doing well? Why? When you were reading the plot, I, I kind of set myself to the easiest. Good for you, buddy. You know what? I happy. applaud your your honesty. Well, I mean, I think anybody who knows his game knows there's no way he's this good. You want to play? Sure. Yeah, you know. I've never played this on PS4, so I have no idea. Oh, don't go that way. I just came from that way. You want to go back into that thing? There's another uh, activate. God bless him. Yeah, America. Yeah, right? right. Okay, so. I activated this one on the wall to the right. Right there. Doop. You, did you activate that one? Yeah, it's activated. So now it's probably open that thing in the, yeah, it's open that up. So I go here. And that's what I did. But I think this is the one that put me, yeah, there you go. There's an exit. So, yeah, that's the, oh, see? I was that close? Well, it said exit on it. Demo Sonolami. I'm on the nine below that. I live in a scene it. Look at that. That, looks like a, that looks like a like a like a like a butthole after, <laughs> after Mexican food. Par I'm is a minute thirty. We did six minutes and thirteen seconds. Nailed it. Well we didn't know where we were going. Or what we were doing. Twenty five percent of the secrets. Ooh. Containment area. Alright. You are here, buddy. You know what I gotta tell you, I, I like this more than the when we did the Castlevania and the other stuff. I Wolfenstein? Think. Yeah, Wolfenstein and um, uh, Aliens. Alien was just not, that was like, like that was a purposefully brutal. Man, that's so satisfying. Mm. Maybe that's mm -hmm. what I like about it, the fact that, yeah, you know, you, it's a shotgun. You get a shot and you know, make it, make it, a good shot and make he's or, dead. Make or break? Well, it's like, it's like sometimes, I, I feel like I shoot them like 20 times and that made your face. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why you would never not use. Ooh, what's that? That feels that feels like traversal, doesn't it? Now why can't you get that? Doesn't it feel like you should be able to? Why would it be there? Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Hi, buddy. Picked up armor bonus. Picked up armor bonus. Huh? Huh? Oh, more health. I like it. Aha! 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 Ha. Don't touch. <laughs> don't touch the goo. <laughs> don't don't fall off. Take it gentle. Take it, it slow. It takes a steady hand. Take it slow. Take it gentle. Be gentle with me. Gentle first. And slow. I don't feel like I can go anywhere else. Who just got me? Hmm. 
It doesn't look. I mean, the stairs don't go there. nowhere. Yeah, but it's over there. Hi, buddy. Oh, hey, what's Hi, up, buddy? What's up, Hi, buddy? Bro? What's up, bro? Get bros, bro. Hi, buddy. Go back up there, or maybe it's over here. Get a stim pack that's over here. Health. Wink. Oh, that's something. It's this. See, I like this because it's it's rewarding. Like you, you gotta. There's there's things. There are things. And and like you 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 take care of them and and you get bonuses. There's things to get. Sometimes I feel like I'm just searching. Metaphor for life. I'm just sure. Do you? So what? What kind of game? You get lost very quickly. And then when you yeah, when you get lost, you're like I don't understand what I'm doing. Is it that you don't mind if the ch aha? You don't mind if the challenge is difficult, but you want it to be a clear path to the challenge. Or do you like figuring out the challenge? I like it to be satisfying, like you know, like I don't know. It's satisfying to, to find things, and you know, they, like you know, they, they're hiding a bunch of stuff. So you you know, but you don't want the challenge to be like. Don't hide the challenge. Ooh, what does that do? Oh. Sh radiation shielding suit. Well, I guess if, if there's something I'm supposed to try to figure out, and that's the part of the game. Like, uh, it frustrates like me when I can't figure out the puzzle. I don't mind solving the puzzle, but when I can't figure out the puzzle is, that's what frustrates me. I'm like, just tell me what the puzzle is. And they're like, well, you need yeah, to yeah, I guess, I, I, yeah, but that's, is that the issue that people are having with the, with with the what? Death Stranding? I know that, because that, that has been like, look, we talk about that a little you, bit. That, that's yeah. like a super polarizing game. You you have brought up the the words tedious and rewarding, and I think that that's most people's thing. Like our good buddy Jack Septic Eye uh, shot me a text, and he's diehard Kojima fanboy. Like he he loves Metal Gear, um, loves obviously super challenging games, um, both. Bloodborne and Shadow of the Colossus are his like all-time favorites. Um, he said he sent me a text. He was like, "I'm about 20 hours in, and the game is really started clicking for me." <laughs> I was like, "Wow, 20 hours! Like most campaign for games are like 10 to 12, right? Like Red Dead, I thought was like, God, this takes forever to get going, and that that was after like about an hour or two." 20 hours. But is that the point of Red Dead though? I mean, it, it's an open world. I think it's a very meditative game, but I mean, even just the story, like I haven't beat, like Roger Clark is a buddy and, and of ours and, and and I still have yet to beat um, Red Dead. And we were even talking to Amy Hennig and she's like, I want to play Death Stranding so badly, but I don't think that Death Stranding is for everybody. I think that Death Stranding is very much of a game that is for a certain amount of people that if you want to go, I even, I'm not even going to tell you guys secrets that I know about the game, but there's only, there's only things that you will get if you platinum the game. Um, really? Yeah, yeah. It is, it is not for everybody. It is for people that want to, you know, yellow key to open the store. As much as you want to experience or as little as you want to experience, it's a very scalable game. I, I, I appreciate that, but... I applaud Kojima for doing this, for saying, I'm going to make the game that I want to make, and oh, that's fair. it's not going to be a game that he's trying to please people. And I think that we've gotten to, here we go, a generation of trying to please Metacritic and make a game that is homogenized and dumbed down for everybody. And I don't think that's the game you should try to make. I think you should try to make a game that's, that, that, thrives on discourse and not dissension or discord but i think that you should have a make a game that makes people want to discuss and go i didn't like this and if kojima accomplishes nothing else than that but getting people to talk about the game even if they're like i hated it great you're talking about it tell me why you don't like it tell me why i'm lost in this labyrinth I'm back where i started where the hell is a yellow key i know we're I'm looking for yellow snow we still have not gotten that one. It pisses me off. What is that? There's a switch right there. Where? Turn Where's the switch? Stop moving so fast. Right. I'm going to throw up. Where do you see a okay, switch? Okay, back up and look to your left. See that? Isn't that a switch? Right there? What is that? Is that a switch? It's some... Oh, hey! Oh, oh that's how he... Get that. And that got his shells. But you need to find a hidden path. Shut the fuck up. You don't know. Did you get the... Did find you... a hidden switch. Run, Oh. How did that happen? Shelf. What just 
I just walked up to something and it moved. Hold on, it opened up stuff. You, it, that's that's new. This is all new. Ooh, that's radiation shielding. Go get it. 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 Radiation shielding suit makes me happy. Makes me poop. Oh no, poop. Radiation shielding suit get me through this green goop. Is there a la la? Is there a time limit on? Look. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Nice to see you, Gary. Hey, Rick. What happened, Rick? Who is that? What if they were like really nice dudes? Yeah, and they're just like, look, man, I didn't ask for this. I got radiation poisoning. Yeah, going that way. You and I are friends. Act oh, action that. Uh, yeah, action. I'm gonna action the fuck out of that. Yeah, action that. Fuck you. That's good. That's Oop, oh, yeah, lift. Oh, lift. oh, boy. Oh, this is real nice. This looks like a jade palace. Probably something. I real nice for you. See, again, shotgun, close quarters. They're gonna, get, they're gonna get right up on you. Don't you worry about it. Here, homie. He, 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 the pink guy takes two. <laughs> oh no. Man, I've been hanging out with you too long. Uh, the pink guy takes two. Uh oh, that, that looks like something's going to punch you. It's going to get dirty. Come here, Philip. You know something about it? Like, turning monsters and call, you know, using their name is, is kind of. It personalizes it? It does. And I, I kind of like it. You know, it almost Gregory. takes a scary out. It, yeah, I mean, th th let's say this th this guy, that's Jeremy. You just Jeremy. shot Jeremy. <laughs> Dude, Graham McTavish talking <laughs> about names there. He goes, well, Jeremy's just a ridiculous name. I was like, ha, 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 ha. He goes, no offense to any Jeremy's that might be watching. Oh, like, there's Kyle. That's our, that's a, Kyle is a great one, too. Kyle, there's Kyle, and there's Alan. Ooh, what is oh, this? Is, oh, that hello. Is, that's nice. Mega armor, uh -oh. 200%. Oh. oh, that's Greg. Greg just went down. I mean, sorry, I'm going to start naming all the people. Please do. I want to see oh, Trevor. Trevor. Oh, Steve. Oh, oh, there you go. Holy crap. Come on. Is there a run button? Uh, oh, you got compressed. And you got compressed. Oh, get compressed. Oh, that was Tristan. Tristan. Oh, and this Trevor. We're in the T's now, kids. I'm sorry, that's not Trevor. That's George. Trevor's George brother. is a good one. There's Andrew. Certain There's certain names that you just you don't hear anymore. Like one. Like Adolf. What? You don't. Ruined Adolf. That for everybody. He ruined it for every. But you know that this is Aston Adolf. What, what's that? No, no. Oh no, is that they're calling him? What do you mean? Oh no. Well, I guess we can't. Um, that is my grandfather's name and his. Oh. We're not using Adolf not, anymore. Not using, no. Nate what if you're not German? What if what if you're not German? It's just like, I don't. I'm. I'm, I'm my name's Chris. Adolf. This is my wife Emma. I don't. And this doubt, is our son the way, Adolf. There's there's someone in the south that did that. We named him Adolf. After um, well, pretty clear. It'd be terrible if they were like, well, you, well, yeah, we named him after that. You know. Red key card. I mean, I, well, I think that feller was just misunderstood. No sir. No, they understood. No, we everything. understood you perfectly. We understood him perfectly. He was insane. It was what I was going for. Oh yeah, if I push on the L3. Well, I named it. I've named him after Dolph Lundgren, but apparently I spelled it wrong. <laughs> it's not Adolf. Can you imagine the doctor that was like, uh, so what are we? What name are we putting on the um, gift on the birth certificate? Gift certificate. The gift certificate. Uh, I got a gift certificate for a baby. <laughs> I now thought I was going one, to Bed Bath want, and Beyond. Did you want female or male, sir? <laughs> Well, well, I ain't decided I, yet. I, I ain't yeah. gonna be too picky about it. I'm just, I'm just grateful to be here. I'm just grateful to uh, be able to. Uh, uh, I, I cannot sire a child, and uh, my wife's been, uh, she's been on my case, so I'm gonna bring her home some, something special this week. Uh, What'd you get? Did you go to the store? Did you get my pack of Winston's? Yes, I did. I did. I got the Winston's. I got you Dr. Pepper, and say hello to little Mabel. I don't want to call her Mabel. <laughs> Oh, shit, I'll bring her back. <laughs> I'll bring her back. Well, <laughs> wife didn't want her. Well, by God, they gave me an Asian baby. Oh, my God. What? Not Mabel? Maybe well, it's Mabel. Well, that's all right. Queen? Maybe it's Maybelline. All right, you know what? All right, let's make this interesting. We're going to... This hasn't been interesting. <laughs> let's do... There's, there's, as I understand... What? What is there? There's some cheat codes. What is there, Troy? Tell Doom me. contains cheat codes that allow the player to be invulnerable, obtain every weapon, be able to instantly kill every monster at a particular level, and several other abilities. Oh my god. On the PS4 playable version, the cheat codes are automatically available from the pause menu. Hooray. 
So what should I do? Let's go to options. I'm gonna give you a list. Do I go to option? Yeah. All right, I'm going to option. Then you, no, cheats. There cheats. you go. Wow, they actually just put it. Cheats. Fist, God Chainsaw, mode. which is very Evil Dead. What, oh my goodness, hold on, look. Oh my God. They, they, they get God mode? Computer area map? Is give there? everything. Let's do God mode. God mode is always good. Using cheats will disable trophies, like we care about trophies. <laughs> yes. Am I okay with this? Yeah. Cheat codes and game. Options. Options. Go to, go to cheats. Then going to give everything. Hi, I'm Phil Kensington. Are you stuck on the planet Mars trying to defend yourself against radioactive monsters? There's a chainsaw. We have a chainsaw for you. What is that? We also have a rocket launcher, a plasma rifle, and if you really want to get, if you really mean business, the BFG 9000. Or you can also just get a, a fist with a, a, a pointy thing on it that'll also help kill people. Wow, that was a Gatlin gun. Shotgun, hey! And uh... You will receive tremendous savings on every gun that we have. I just obliterated everything and its mother. That's right, Marty. If you can't find it here, you can't find it on Mars. I think I just killed everything. Kill everything you need at Phil Kensington's Kill Everything Store. Kill Everything Store. I, I look at that guy. Located See that guy? in East Fulbos. There he goes, into a green vapor. <laughs> hey, here comes a thing. Bagosh. It is another green vapor thing. So, come. Uh, you want helmets? We got helmets. Located in downtown Phobos, just off the interstate. I'm gonna just <laughs> drive around and shoot things. Mm. Oh, that looks that delicious. Mean? Would you like a floating orb? Have one. Ooh, floating orb. Partial invincibility. Oh, Ivy got you down? No trouble. Day of the growing Ivy. Did you? No. I do not need that shotgun. I wasn't born in Oh, hey, sir. Are you taking a bath? And now, guess what? Your now vapor. You're what a hey, great gun. Hey, look at that. Your vapor. Come down to the Kensington Vapor Store. Ugh. I I remember Maurice Lamarche telling me a story, telling us a story about how he used to smoke cigars, right? And he was like, I, I've never realized how awful I smelled and I would come in and just, he considered it was a very offensive habit. I, when I was vaping, I would bring that into sessions, man. I look back and I was like, what a douchebag I was for that. I hated that I did that. Shouldn't have done that. Stupid. You really, you really felt that way? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was horrible. It was, uh, it's a, it's, first of all, it's a horrible habit. I smoked for 20 years and uh -oh. I went to vaping because I thought it was, I gotta say, uh, bite, bite, bite. It's a plasma rifle. I thought it'd be a plasma rifle. I must have hit my, I, well, you know what? Chainsaw. Do Evil Dead style, brother. Here we go. Here we go. Here we Hi, guy. Go. Hi, have some of that. Would you like to be cut in half? Welcome to the Kensington. Get yourself diced and chopped store. Look, look everybody who Kensington doesn't... store at 1221 Post Road in Warwick. <laughs> One folk relocated to Phobos. You, we found you, find us on Mars. Hey, how are you? Would you like to test this out? Test this out, sir. Try it and you'll see. You know what's funny? What? This isn't as satisfying. Because because part of the fun was finding stuff, yeah. and I was like, I have everything. Well, for me, the exit was what I wanted to find. It was like, great, I've got all the weapons. I wasn't having a problem shooting people. I was doing just fine. What was the action key? Oh, that's the there action. It is. There's the action key. Hey, Dylan. Take action. Oh hey, blue key. Hey, there's a blue key. Blue key? Oh, that sounds like a pet name for like a blanket or something. Have you seen my blue key? Traveler calls baby Einstein Nani. And I point to the TV, he goes, Nani. I thought you said he was smart. Yeah, can't say Baby Einstein yet. What a goof. Rocket ship zooming through the sky. Little Einstein. Okay, let's go we'll drop into, down to the blood. Let's go into the blood. And now we'll climb up and get mm. a gun Ooh, we already have. got a plasma have. gun and health bonus. Oh, health bonus and bullets. Remember when we used to love the shotgun shells? Those were the days. Oh, uh, you know what? These were the days of our lives. So are the days of our lives. Did you hear that? Days of Our Lives, after 55 years, mm -hmm. released all of their actors from their contracts. 
you're on, on indefinite hiatus. You, as a soap star, which, which I don't like. Or Charles, care to join me? No. Mm. Okay, more drinks for me. Here's the problem with that. There's only two parts of the entertainment business where they call you a star right away. Soaps and porn. And it's like, uh, hi, day one, welcome to the show. Uh, get that cock in your mouth, you're a star now. Uh, it's like, uh, you know, it's like, Jesus. You're a porn actor, excuse me, no, you're, I'm you're, a porn star. It's true though, then, then, then you become a star. It's like, yeah, you're a soap star. There's no small porn actors, there's only small porn. Cocks. Oh my God, he you has. There. You have 200% armor, buddy, do you're want, invincible. Do I wanna go in there? Yeah. Hey, what? By the way, this is flesh. This is the meat flesh. Oh, have some meat flesh. It's the meat the flesh. Meat the flesh. Meat flesh. Meet the meat flesh. Meat flesh. It's like a, the worst name for a porno ever. Uh, so what's your, let's figure out what your porn star name is gonna be. Uh, meat flesh. Well, um, I don't think that's a good you, idea. Maybe, right? maybe, you know, do the whole thing of like, you know, your dog and... and no, I want to be called meat flesh. You, okay, but I don't know how that's going to look. I, I love the choice. I'm just not sure how it's going to look on the door, you know? Meat flesh. I mean, because you're, you're like, you know, John Hung. That's a... Get, get, I'm not Asian. Not Hong, Hung. Like, you know, Hung like you're... I don't get it. Even Ron Jeremy it's just not. used his name. Maybe we could just Paul. We can just go with... You always talk to me about, like, oh, your name's Nolan North. Oh, look, I like, guess there's a porn star named Peter North. Yeah, there's, there's a and, and I'm like, and I'm like, uh, are you related to Peter North? I'm like, uh, yes, I am. Uh, I don't think so. He had the smaller penis. Uh, but I found out about that guy. It's not his name. His real name is Al Brown. That's even Which better. is like the That's worst porn name. You can't, it's, can't sit there. That's like day one, they're like, wow, impressive penis. You're gonna do well in this. What's your name? Al Brown. All right, we're gonna work. On that. <laughs> That's gonna change. Give it to you me. You know that Al. reminds me of the North Pole. And it's a Peter penis. It's a Peter. Oh. Peter North. Why didn't he go with Peter Pole? Peter Pole would be better. Peter Pole. Be better than Mary? North. <laughs> He's not doing the. It's like, although apparently, uh, his work is quite impressive. So, let's just give him that, Gary. Oh, hey, look. Mm, would you like to be destroyed by my new little gun? It is blowing you up and we've, oh so much fun. We've talked about this before. I need a story. I need some, I, I need more than just like, do you, do you, do you? There's days I think I, I can kind of get behind just badoosh. Hmm. Uh, just, but I, I like a, I like a story. I need a story. I like a narrative driven. And I want to be, I want it to be believable much more than just like, I told you about the worst one that I ever saw, right? Which one? The guy comes over and he's sitting there and the girl just looks at him and he just goes like this. He goes, give me head. Like he wasn't sure if that was the line. But he <laughs> knew that that's what they told him to say. So he's just like, I don't know what these words mean. And say what you want. And the girl goes, I thought you'd never ask. And then they proceeded to perform fellatio on him. Um, and I, I was watching that and laughed. I went, ha ha ha. And then... I was like, now I'm now I'm committed to these characters. I would like I would order a season of this. <laughs> oh, I want to uh, find it so bad. Uh, there's no way, by the way, that you can do a Google search for that. You will nor, just be, nor should you. Nor do, should you. Do a Google, um, Google search. You'll for that. you'll be like just it's just the infinite rabbit hole of like, all right, maybe there's a porn where it says give me head and it's just like and you broke the internet. <laughs> Because it's, YouTube search string. Yeah, it's probably... Way to thread the needle with that plasma rifle, by the way. That's well, you know... Impressive. Boink. I don't know what's in there. I don't know what that is. I think I killed it, but... I just wish I could get in there with it. I, well, wish in one get in hand, there shit slot. in the other. Because I feel like we're going to be trapped in wearing this radiation suit with your glowing eyes. Your eyes are glowing. They are. Well, um... But that's doom. That's Doom. We're doomed. Sort of. Uh, we've seen some Doom. It's, it's, yeah, it's what it is, kids. Uh, it's good to be back on the couch, though. I know. Itchy back? Yeah. Well, I'm on fire right now. You, uh, you get ready for the schlaffing. Ugh, you can emerge from your cocoon. I'm uh, molting. <laughs> yeah, molting I'm, is a better word. I like molting I, better. I, I, think I, I am definitely molting. We'll, we'll let you go through that epidermic experience, and we ask you, what do we play next? Yeah.